Hello friends, today we will be learning working of D flip flop using NAND gates. To understand working of D flip flop, one should know working of SR latch because modifying SR latch we can construct D flip flop. So SR latch has two inputs. One of the input is R, let's say R dash and S dash and it is constructed using two NAND gates with outputs Q and Q bar okay property of Q and Q bar is such that when Q is 0 Q bar will become 1 and when Q is 1 Q bar will become 0 further output of first NAND gate is connected as input of second and output of second is connected as input of first so this is SR latch using two NAND gates. Uh, we have already learned this in my previous video. So, link of that video I will provide in the pin comment or description. So, from that video, we learned that the table of this circuit R dash and S dash can take four values 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. At that time, we will try to find the value final out value of outputs qn and qn bar qn and qn bar stand for final outputs okay so when both are 0 0 outputs becomes 1 and this condition is called as forbidden condition of sr latch for 0 1 outputs are 1 0 which is called as set condition for 1 0 it is 0 1 which is reset condition and for 1 1 it is q and q bar which is no change condition so up to this part we learn in sr latch video now further we will modify this circuit by connecting two more nand gates over here let's say NAND gate 1 and 2 then its common input we will connect to the clock clock is a periodic signal which alternates between 0 and 1 then we will take input of first NAND gate as D then we will connect one NOT gate over here and we will provide it as the input of second NAND gate so if it is D then this particular input of second NAND gate will become D bar okay so let's try to find equation of R dash and S dash so from this circuit we can see equation of R dash is for first NAND gate input are CLK and D the equation of R dash will become CLK into D the whole bar and equation of s dash so for equation of s dash let's see inputs of nand gate number two inputs of nand gate number two are clk and d bar so it will become clk into d bar the whole bar okay so these are equation of nand gates so to get equation of r dash and s dash one should do value of CLK D and D bar from that we can get R dash and S dash values so if CLK is 0 then one of the input of NAND gate 1 is 0 and one of the input of NAND gate 2 is 0 and if inputs of NAND gates are 0 then its output become 1 1 we don't care what are the values of D and D bar okay so we will keep our CLK is equal to 1 when CLK is 1 D can take only two values D will be either 0 or 1 and when D is 0 1 D bar will become 1 0 okay so let's try to solve R dash R dash is CLK into D CLK into D means multiplication of first two columns and we will take complement after that so 1 into 0 is 0 complement of it will become 1 1 into 1 is 1 complement of it will become 0 
now to get the equation of s dash we will see clk into d bar clk into d bar means multiplication of first column and this third column so 1 into 1 is 1 complement of it will become 0 and 1 into 0 is 0 complement of it will become 1 and once we get r dash and s dash value then we will use this table to get the value of qn and qn bar okay so from this table when r dash and s dash are 1 1 then outputs become q and q bar which is no change condition then from this table when r dash is equal to 1 and s dash is equal to 0 outputs become 0 1 which is reset condition and when r dash is equal to 0 s dash is equal to 1 which is second condition of this table output becomes 1 and 0 which is set condition so this is overall explanation of d flip flop in d flip flop we get three states no change reset and set thank you